Hi. I came up to talk to you about the other night. And I saw the paper and... Well, actually, I'm kind of embarrassed about it. But since it concerns you, I thought I'd talk to you about it in person. What? What? Mm -hmm. Oh, the earplugs. <laughs> I can't go through the whole thing again. It's sufficient to say I've come to make up. And as an added inducement, I have all kinds of news. Can I come in? I guess so. Just a minute. Do I have a nightgown on? No, I don't. Would you mind turning around for a second? Oh, never mind. It's such a corny line anyway. I'll turn it on myself. Come in. Have you seen the paper? Mm. Rusty, you mean? Mm-hmm. Yes, I know all about it. Certainly had him pegged wrong, didn't I? I thought he was just a rat. But he was a super rat all along. A super rat in rat's clothing. You don't even know the best part. Not only was he a rat or a super rat, rather, he was also drunk. Broke? I mean, but not a farthing. Family has money, of course, but he personally is broke. It turns out he owes $700,000. Can you imagine anyone owing $700,000? $43, yes. Anyway. That's why he decided to marry the queen of the pig people. I'll tell you one thing, Fred, darling. I'd marry you for your money in a minute. Would you marry me for my money? In a minute. So I guess it's pretty lucky neither of us is rich, huh? Yeah. Oh, Fred, darling, I'm so glad to see you. What have you been doing? Writing mostly. So the story. Just got word this morning. Oh, that's marvelous. It really is. But only how does your decorator friend feel about it? I thought you were supposed to be saving yourself and all of that. You know something? I haven't quite got around to telling her about it yet. Look, why don't we go out and have a drink or take a walk or something to celebrate? All right. I think there's some champagne in the icebox. Why don't you open it while I get dressed? Okay. I don't think I've ever drunk champagne before breakfast before. With breakfast on several occasions. But never before before. Now, I've got a wonderful idea. We could spend the whole day doing things we've never done before. We'll take turns. So something you've never done, then me. Of course, I can't really think of anything I've never done. <laughs> I've never been for a walk in the morning before. At least not since I've been in New York. I've walked up Fifth Avenue at six, but as far as I'm concerned, that's still night. Do you think it counts? Sure it counts. Now we're even. Don't you just love it? Love what? Tiffany's. Isn't it wonderful? Do you see what I mean how nothing bad could ever happen to you in a place like this? It isn't that I give a hoot about jewelry except diamonds, of course. Like that. What do you think? Well... Of course, personally, I think it'd be tacky to wear diamonds before I'm 40. Well, you're right. But in the meantime, you should have something. I'll wait. No, I'm gonna buy you a present. You bought me one, a typewriter ribbon, and it brought me luck. All right, but Tiffany's can be pretty expensive. I've got my check and $10. Oh, I wouldn't let you cash a check. But a present for $10 or under? That I'll accept. Of course, I don't exactly know what we're going to find at Tiffany's for ten dollars. Like May I help you? Perhaps. Actually, we were looking for a present for the lady. Certainly, sir. Was there something special you had in mind? Well, we had considered diamonds. Now, I don't want to offend you, but the lady feels that diamonds are tacky for her. Oh, I think they're divine on older women, but I don't think they'd be right for me. You do understand. Certainly. In all fairness, I think I ought to explain um, there is also a secondary problem, one of finance. We can only afford to spend a limited amount. May I ask how limited? Ten dollars. 
million dollars. Well, that was the outside figure, yes. I see. Do you have anything for ten dollars? Well, frankly, madam, within that price range, the variety of merchandise is rather limited. However, I do think we might have, let me see, strictly as a novelty, you understand? For the lady and gentleman who has everything, a sterling silver telephone dialer at 675, including tax. Sterling silver telephone dialer? Yes, at 675, including federal tax. Well, the price is right, but uh, I must say, I'd rather hope for something slightly more, how shall I say it, uh, romantic in feeling. What do you think? As sterling silver telephone dialers go, I certainly think it's handsome, but uh, you do understand. Well, we tried, but I guess we could have something engraved, couldn't we? Yes, I suppose so. Yes, indeed. The only problem is you would more or less have to buy something first, if only in order to have some object upon which to place the engraving. You see the difficulty. Well, uh, we could have this engraved, couldn't we? I think it would be very smart. This, I take it, was not purchased at Tiffany's? No. Actually, it was purchased concurrent with, uh, well, actually came inside of, well, a box of Cracker Jack. I see. Do they still really have prizes in Cracker Jack boxes? Oh, yes. That's nice to know. It gives one a feeling of solidarity. Almost of continuity with the past, that sort of thing. Do you think Tiffany's would really engrave it for us? I mean, you don't think they would feel it was beneath them or anything like that? Well, it is rather unusual, madam. But I think you'll find that Tiffany's is very understanding. If you'll tell me what initials you would like, I think we could have something ready for you in the morning. Didn't I tell you this was a lovely place? What is this place, anyway? You said you wanted to sit down. It's the public library. You never been here? No. That makes two for me. I don't see any books. They're in there. See? Each one of these little drawers is stuffed with little cards. And each little card is a book or an author. That's fascinating. V-A-R. J-A-K. Really? Look. Isn't it marvelous? <laughs> there you are, right in the public library. Bar Jack Paul, nine lives. I mean, a lot of numbers. You think they really have the book itself? Live? Mm. Follow me. Number 57. Us. 57, please. Nine Lives by Barjack Paul. Did you ever read it? It's absolutely marvelous. No, I'm afraid I haven't. Well, you should. He wrote it. He's Barjack Paul in person. She doesn't believe me. Show her your driver's license or diner's club card or something. Honestly, he really is the author. Cross my heart and kiss my elbow. Oh, would you kindly lower your voice, please? Why don't you autograph it to them? Don't you think it'd be nice? Sort of make it more personal? Really, miss? Go ahead. Don't be so stuck up. Autograph it to them. All right. What shall I say? Something sentimental, I think. What are you doing? Stop that! Shh. You're defacing public property. Well, all right, if that's the way you feel. Come on, Fred Dong, let's get out of here. I don't think this place is half as nice as Tiffany's. Hey, did you ever steal anything from a five and ten? When you were a kid, I mean? No. I'm the sensitive, bookish type. Did you? I used to. I still do every now and then, sort of to keep my hand in. Come on, don't be chicken. Anyway, you've never done it, and it's your turn. Oh. I can't see. Hi, Kat. 